Fantastic Friday, Mr. President, fellow Toastmaster, and distinguished guests. A fabulous and awesome morning, afternoon, evening to all. Friends call me a polyglot as I love languages. I like reading, singing, and dancing. My name is CJ Lim, a member of this club, and I am honored to be your Toastmaster of the day. Tonight's theme is change. Change is inevitable in life. You can either resist it and potentially get run over by it, or you can choose to cooperate with it, adapt to it, and learn how to benefit from it. When you embrace change, you will begin to see it as an opportunity or growth. As our speaker, evaluator, appointment holders, members, and friends took their precious time to attend this meeting tonight, shall we give each other a warm round of applause? There are some other house rules to abide with during this online meeting. During the speech, May I ask all of you to mute your mic if you are not the one speaking so as not to distract the speaker when he or her is speaking. There are three main parts of our Toastmaster Club meeting. The first part will be the table topic session to challenge you to develop your impromptu communication skills. Members and guests are encouraged to volunteer for this segment. Pick a topic from the table, Topic Master, and practice thinking and speaking off the cuff. The second part will be the prepare speech session with three speakers who are presenting their speeches. The third part will be our speech evaluation and feedback segment, which is an important part of a Toastmaster speech. Let me introduce the appointment holders to help us ensure that we speak within the allocated time is our timer. Distinguished Toastmaster Li Sanshan is a member of our club. She joined Toastmaster to conquer her fear of public speaking. She is also the Division D Director in District 80 currently. One important aspect of Toastmaster training is learning to speak without all those um and ah and various post filler words. Watching out for us in this area is our R counter, distinguished Toastmaster Lee Buckley. Let's welcome her. I will introduce the rest of the appointment holders when we get to the respective segment. To commence the meeting, let us put our hands together to welcome the club president, distinguished Toastmaster Willie Lowe, to give us his opening address. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmaster. To improve our communication skill was the main, our primary objective of why we joined Toastmaster. Overcome the fear of public speaking is only one aspect of communication skill. There are many communication areas that we have to learn. Building relationship for one, for another person. It's not about me, but everywhere, everyone we met. Everybody today has access to information. Whatever you want to know, Somebody already know that. What do you want to do? Somebody might have already done that. If not, you can at least learn for their experience. Having an intellectual understanding of what to do and what, how to do to make a positive change is not enough. There's three steps to train. The first step, is to change is be emotionally ready. You cannot be, you can you can become emotionally ready by changing your mindset, which means that you need to target your underlying belief. 
values and assumptions. Number two, now that you are ready, the second step is to build a skill set that will enable this positive change. Step three, the third and final step is to acquire a tool set to sustain this change. We live in a world that is very distracting and discouraging. So heavy polished skills is not enough to maintain a change. If you have a tools to support your skills and keep this change in, in fact, you hit the jackpot. So to quickly sum up, to create a change that lasts, you always start with having a good logical understanding of what needs to be done. But then the first step is to change your mindset and become emotionally ready. The second step is to build a skill set that will enable this change. And finally, acquire, acquire a school, tool set that will help you sustain this change. But remember, everything falls through if you are not emotionally ready for a change. So, so the first step is the most important of all, to be emotionally ready. Sometimes getting coach can help you get through this step faster than rather than reflecting on your own. I wish you all the best for all the positive change in your life. Thank you. Over back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Club President. In the room tonight, we have a general evaluator. The general evaluator evaluates everything that takes place during the club meeting. He is none other than Thomas, competent communicator, competent leader from Pessaris Toastmaster Club. He thinks that he grew a lot throughout the circuit breaker period grew in size. Now comes the moment that we are all waiting for the table topic session to provide us with the challenge for today. Table topic session is a member of our club. Margaret is a financial services consultant with AIA Singapore. With 25 years of experience in financial advisory services, Margaret has matured with her clients. Clients turn friends. She continues to work with them through various phases in their life. She reminds herself that there are three things that if we do not use, we will surely lose our brain. Second, our muscle. Third, words. To make sure they are all working every day. She meditates in bed. Always too long. Run out the door to catch the bus. And say thank you to the kind bus driver. Tarries a little for her. Be thinking, acting, and saying thank you every day. Let's warmly welcome our Table Topic Master, Margaret Lowe, Strategic Relationships Level 4. Over to you, Margaret. Thank you. Good evening, Toastmaster of the Day, JC Lim. Thank you for the kind introduction. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all our friends from all over the world. I'm Margaret, and I'll be the Table Topic Master for this evening. Good evening, Club President and all our friends. Are you ready for changes? Whether you're ready or not, here it comes. The topic for this evening is about changes. And I've prepared several topics for you to choose from. But first, the timing sequence. Our speakers will have two and a half minutes to complete their speech. At the end of the first minute, the green card will be shown. The green light will be shown. At the end of one minute and 30 seconds, the yellow, card, the yellow light will be flashed. At the end of two minutes, the red light will be flashed. 
and you have 30 seconds to finish up your speech. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we have 20 fun topics for you to choose from and to speak about on changes. May I have a volunteer? Hello. Hello, Bimal. good evening. Good evening. Hello, Bimal. I'm Bimal. Bimal, hi, good evening. Bim good evening. Good evening. What time is it in your home uh, country? Hi, good now? evening, Bimal. What time is it in your home country now? Can you hear me, Bimal? It's uh, 45 past 6 p.m. Ah. It's even 45 past 6 p.m. from okay. India, Kolkata. Oh, okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Bima, would you like to pick your topic? Wonderful. You, you pick like me. Pick I have no choice. You pick me. You pick. You have 20 to choose from. <laughs> take your you pick. favorite. Take your favorite number. <laughs> no, I think you're you're, you're the, you're the, you're the, you are my masters. You I can don't... choose. And you, you, can, you can choose. No problem. Okay. okay. What's a good number in India? Hello. <laughs> you choose, you choose, no problem. All right, All right. okay. Uh, how is, I don't know all the topics, huh? Okay, let's go for number three. Is that okay, good for okay, you? Okay, okay, okay. All Thank right, you. there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, this one is most suited. Are you married, Bimo? Are you married, Bimo? No, I'm single. <laughs> oh, duh. okay. It's okay. No, 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 I'm single. Your first, your first lesson. Your first lesson. When a woman says, yes. what? Yes. It's not because she didn't hear you. She's giving you a chance to change what you just said. This is your topic. Shall okay, I repeat okay. it? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Yes. Yes, yes. What? Not because she didn't hear you. Mm. She's given you a change. And what you... Okay. Thank you. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests around the world. And thank you, my Table Topic Masters, to give me the chance to say something about when a woman say, what? It is not because she didn't hear you. She's giving you a change, chance to change what you just said. It's, it's a really good topic and it's a very close to my personal life events. And initially when I was a class of 12 standards, my girlfriend asked me to change myself. I love sports. I love football. And I had a dream to become a footballer. But my girlfriend didn't love to sports. She loved the education. She always suggests me, please you concentrate your education. But I am a young, I have a dream. I become a footballer. I can play the Indian team and the Indian sub-junior team, Indian junior team, and finally the Indian team. I had a dream. Let, and on and, 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 like this way, I started my dream to start playing footballs. But unfortunately, some accident, my left was injured. I could not continue my football ca careers. And that moment I feel is my girlfriend suggestion, my friend's uh, 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 suggestion is now good for me. Because again, I started with my education journey my girlfriend motivated me and finally I passed the graduation in engineering. And after that, I passed the masters of engineering. This way, I changed my life. Now I am working in university level and, and unfortunately, I could not marry my girlfriend. That's my uh, change of my life. Thank you over to Toastmaster of the day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bimal. So your girlfriend not only gave you a chance to change what you said, she gave you a chance to change your life. 
you must love her. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Bimal. Yes. Thank you. Oh, may I have my next volunteer, please? Well, go check, go check. The name are there. Uh, if, if no Would one you... wants to, I can. Oh, go ahead, Ina. We'd love to have you. Would you like to turn on your video? We'd like to say hi. Hi. Yes, I do. You. Go ahead and pick your topic, please. They're all about changes. Ina, you're muted. Ina, you're muted. Would you like to unmute yourself? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. of course. <laughs> I said, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, it was twice that I said uh, that I would like to pick number uh, 18, but maybe that was a change for a uh, change. So I would like to change my mind and pick number 12. Number 12 for you. <laughs> there we go. If oh. you could change something about <laughs> your spouse or partner, what would that be? Oh, um, can I begin? Sure, go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Toastmasters, uh, for, uh, let, uh, for giving me the chance to speak. Uh, so this topic is very interesting, I think, not only for me, but also for all of us, because uh, we uh, people generally love to change people, not to change ourselves. And that's why uh, changing something about our spouses and partners is very mm, important to ourselves. Well, we cannot do this, but if we could, I think that uh, what I could do, maybe I would like my uh, spouse not to be so jealous. Because <laughs> uh, uh, we, uh, as girls, uh, I'm a girl and as all the girls do, I like to be um, uh, like uh, meant to be jealous <laughs> about me. But at the same time, at the same time, sometimes it can be too much. And that's why I may, uh, if I was given something, so I would definitely lessen the amount of jealousy in my partner. Um, I, unfortunately, I cannot see any. Ah, I see that I have a green. So maybe I should tell something else so uh, I don't I'm not really sure what I will say uh, some whether I want to change something else but I welcome you to discuss uh, what would you change if you were in my shoes thank you very much thank you Ina are you saying that your partner your spouse gets jealous easily Mm, maybe in some in some uh, cases. Oh, maybe because he loves you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ina. Oh, I have a recommendation from the floor. Uh, Edward, uh, Edward, would you like to take the next topic? Sure. Would like to hear from you. All right. Give me a minute. Okay, I'll head back to the list. All right, Edward, go ahead and pick your topic. Three and 12 are taken. Nine. Nine? Nine is nine. Yes, okay, wonderful. Nine. To improve is to change. To be perfect is to change often. Over to you, Edward. Mr. President, Toastmasters evening, Table Topic Master, Toastmasters and fellow guests. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. I firmly believe that to improve, you must change. If you do not change, you become obsolete, outdated, and you fade away like the dodo birds and the Neanderthals you become obsolete. The only way to improve 
is the change. You go from primary school to high school to college. All along the way, you change, you grow, you evolve. When you start your career, you enter at the entry level. Then you get promoted, you become a supervisor. Then you become a manager. Then you become a member of the board. All along the way, you change and grow. You learn how to interact differently with others and you improve. It is only in improving that you grow. To be perfect, you must change often. If you do not change often, you will become complacent, you will become stagnant, and you won't progress. You simply will not progress. He who does not change, he who does not adapt, becomes obsolete. And what happened to obsolete equipment? We discard them, we throw them away. None of us want to be discarded. None of us want to be thrown away. None of us wants to be overlooked. For us to improve in our jobs, we must change. If we want the promotion at work, we must improve ourselves. We must continue to develop ourselves. That is change. It's only in change that you improve. And if you are like me and you aspire to be perfect, you will know that you will need to change every day. Each day, you must endeavor to learn something new. You must endeavor to change, to improve, and to eventually become perfect. Table Topic Master. Thank you, Edward. That was very inspiring. Indeed, we need to change to improve. So the key word is to change for the better so that we improve because change can go both ways. So it's a decision that you need to make first to make a change and then to make sure it changes for the better. Thank you, Edward. Do we have another volunteer? There is a Niger Warren in the house. Niger Warren, Swan, is that you? I see you. Yes. You'd like to take the next topic? Number seven. One minute, please. All right, number seven. Ah, nothing changes if nothing changes. Greetings, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Nothing changes if nothing changes. Change in itself is constant. Therefore, there is always change if it is not relevant to a situation. Therefore, that term, nothing changes, nothing changes, to me, is a bit oxymoronic in that change in itself is change. There are so many situations that uh, occur around us from time to time, that we are not necessarily willing to accept that they are being changed. It may appear as if nothing is happening in various situations. However, the change is there, however subtle it may be. So I do not quite concur with nothing changes, nothing changes. As I said, change in itself is constant. Look at our situation with this pandemic. Many of us did not want to shift, felt like we didn't want to shift. However, we had to make the shift to occur with those changes. Our world has been turned upside down. However, out of that has come many positive things as I am at this very moment in this change and speaking to my fellow Toastmasters around the world that would never have occurred before, even though I may not have wanted to make this change. So when we think of nothing changes, nothing changes, there is always change. Change in itself is constant. Unless, and like my fellow TM Edward said, if you don't make that change, yes, you do become obsolete. And obsolescence leads to discarding. And no one wants to be discarded. No one wants to feel as if they are insignificant. Therefore, change is there, even though it may appear that nothing changes, nothing changes. Over to you, Madam Table Topic Master. Thank you, Nigger. 
how do I pronounce your name properly? Nakenji. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Nakenji. Nakenji. Thank you, Nakenji. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. Um, I have a, uh, a volunteer, Nikaro. Did you just join us recently? Mark, have I a new member. Oh no, I'm I'm talking to um, I see ah the Noriko. lady Noriko Noriko I beg your pardon Noriko Noriko San. Would you like to take the next topic? Yes, thank you. Okay, I'll pick up. Hmm. Table topic five. Topic number five. Yes. There we go. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Give yourself time. You, what, time? Give oh. yourself time. Give yourself time. Ah, so the may change. Yes. Ah, I see. From a caterpillar to a cocoon to finally mm -hmm. the butterfly. Give butterfly. yourself time. Okay. Over mm. to you. Okay. Um, when I was in high school, I didn't like English and I never want to speak English and uh, I didn't want to study in English and I had a bad scores, all English test. But when I traveled to the United States, I, I of course, I didn't speak any English, but it was very fun. I had a wonderful time in the United States. And I really, really w wanted to speak English at that time. Of course, I already graduated high school and also university. So I was an adult and it was not easy to study in English after the adult, but I tried to, I, I, I mean, I decide, I've decided to be an English speaker at the time. Then I study a lot by myself. For example, I, I had a job already. So I work up the 4 a.m. and study two hours in the morning and went to office, went to the office. And of course I worked and back to the home and studied again and until, uh, at the, until the midnight. And next day I woke at 4 a.m. again I spend such a time and and I changed my job in a company in the United States and I got my English. So I think if people want to change, I think if, uh, how old are they? I think they can change. I mean, we can change. I'm, yes. So I changed. I, yeah, I changed because if I don't speak English, I didn't, you know, jo join this club and I'm enjoying this club. So English gives me a lot of benefits. Thank you very much. Back to Toastmaster. Thank you, Noriko. And welcome to SG Online. Noriko just joined us as a new member and she's yes. taken on new changes. Thank joining you a new club on yes. a new platform to communicate mm -hmm. and making new friends. So that in itself is a change. Thank you. And it's never too late to change, as you said. Yeah. I totally agree with that. Thank, Thank you, you Noriko. Thank you. Ah, up next we have Hi Harkar. Harkar, are you in the house? Ah. Yeah, it's Sakar yes. actually, not Harkar. Okay. Sakar, I'm sorry, <laughs> there's a misspelling yeah, here. All right. All right. One moment. Go ahead, Sarkar. Pick your topic, please. Okay, so let's try my age. That's 19. 19. Oh, you're yes. only 19. Yes. <laughs> Don't look at I, I seem like an old guy, right? Yeah, <laughs> I know. A mature man, yes. Oh, you will like this. Cinderella is proof that a new pair of shoes can change your life. 
Cinderella. Okay. So I'm not really a fan. Okay, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. My name is Sakar Hara and I'm from Nepal. And oh. this is probably my third meeting, I guess. So, okay. Cinderella is a proof that a new pair of shoes can change your life. So what happened was Cinderella was really a poor girl. And when she got the new pair of shoes, she was transformed into a beautiful princess. And she was, I think she was married to someone great character. I don't know. I don't know the story. All right. So, okay. I joined Toastmasters like two months ago in my own country. And that was the first step for changing myself. And before two months, uh, I don't think that you believe that whenever I chat with new people or with new person around me, I just start trembling, you know, my legs start shaking and I feel real, I felt really, really nervous. But during these two months, I think I have really changed myself and you know, the facing the problems and all the communication skills, I think within these two months, there, there are so many changes I have done. And that's because I stepped out of my comfort zone and speak up and face my fear. So yeah, that's the thing that I did. So change is really important for all of us. And just like Cinderella did, like picking up the shoes and wearing and she transformed into a beautiful thing. I did the same, but not picking the shoes, but you know, picking the opportunity to speak on this platform with people like you all. So I'm really thankful and I express my gratitude to you all. And thank you for having me in this meeting. Thank you, over to you, Table Talk Master. Thank you, Sarka. Well, that was wonderful. And in two months, you, I, you've certainly improved a lot in your English. And we hope to see you again very soon. Next up, we have our very own Vikarna. Good Hi, evening, Vikarna. Go ahead and pick your lucky number. Well, I'm going to be like Sarkar as well and pick my age. In my mind, I think I am 20. <laughs> so let's just go with that. All right. Have fun. There we go. Change is inevitable, except from a vending machine. Take it away, Vikana. Thank you, Margaret. Um, before I start, can I just have everybody uh, turn on the video camera so I can kind of see your reactions while I speak? Otherwise, it's like playing peekaboo with kids. And Margaret, if you can just uh, close the PowerPoint, that'll be great. Sure. So I can, thank you. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. What a great topic. Change is in, in, in a vet. Ah! Change, change is going to happen unless you're dealing with the vending machine where you never get change. Ever been in that situation? <laughs> you put your dollar bill in or your two dollar bill in or depending on what country you are and whatever currency you have, you put that in it goes <laughs> comes back out. You're like, oh, I want that go. <laughs> Finally, it accepts it. You press your button, it dispenses it. Crunk, 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 crunk. Doop. Comes out, you pop it open and you start drinking. And then you're waiting for your change. You know, you put a $5 bill in, it should be giving you back a couple of dollars back. You're still waiting, waiting. And then you start banging on the machine. It's not coming out. Where's my money? I can get two Cokes for that same price. Oh, well, you know, such things do happen. Now, change in our life is very important. Us as individuals need to constantly be changing and our rate of change needs to be faster than the change taking place outside. Because if you don't change fast enough, you're gonna get left behind. So just like what we did in the COVID situation, as Toastmasters as an organization or us as individuals, 
situation changed and what did we do? We be began doing Toastmasters meetings online so we could change faster than what was happening. And that's how we stayed ahead. And to all you Toastmasters, it is important to always be aware of your surroundings and be aware of all the change happening because you don't want to be left behind. You want to be changing faster than the environment around you. Only then can you be ahead of the curve instead of being behind. So I urge all of you and tell you, forget the change from the vending machine. Go and look at change, how you can enact and do and come out ahead. And back to you, Margaret, thank you. Thank you, Vikara. Yes, remember the change must first happen within ourselves. Whatever is out there that we can't change or we can't get any change out of, forget it. Let's move on. Thank you. Ah, now we have also another one of our own, Abdul Karimi. Where are you? There we are. Good to see you again. Hello, guys. Good to see you. All right, can you see, are you able to view the rest of the topics? Yes, uh, can I get number, topic number 10? Number 10, there we go. Courage is the power to let go of the familiar. Courage is the power to let go of the familiar. Okay, um, Over yes. to you. Matter of fact, can I get another one? Because I don't really understand okay, this one. Okay, sure. Pick another topic. Let me get number 13. 13. All yes. right, there we go. What would you change about the leadership in your organization? It can be in your company, in your country, in even the family. Okay. Yes. Good afternoon. Good evening to all of you guys. Yes, uh, I want to talk about this, this situation. Either you, you are in a family or a company or whatever it is, we all have to sit down and see what's the problem with our leadership or situation. We all have to sit down and think, how can we change this problem? Especially times like now, we all confused. We all don't know what to do. You know, things like that. We should all sit down and one by one and say, you know what? What is this problem? What is your problem, Mr. Mike? What is your problem, Anthony? And what is your problem, Michelle? So we're going to see the situation and we're going to dig really, really deep into it and see how we can solve this problem. Because this is the only way without communicating without talking about it, you will never find a solution. So by doing that, we have to remember, we all make mistakes in life. We all get nervous. We all have problems. But this is the only way we can really get this situation done. We should never give up. This is the only way we can really continue to better ourselves. And we have to be there for each other, no matter what. We have times we go up and down like a roller coaster. Sometimes we are motivated. Sometimes we slack off. It all depends on our situation and lifestyle. So we all have to really think deep and understand each other how far we can go. For example, if you want to improve a team, let's say a football, and see how we can make a higher score or become better team than the other ones, to become better than last year, to become better than two years ago. So we really have to really practice and go hard at each other every time. There's no problem, we just gotta continue and eventually we're going to solve the problem by working together as a team, as one, as one nation. Thank you. Thank you, Abdul Karimi.
Thank you. Do we have another volunteer in the house? Who would like to take on the next challenge? Angela, I see your hand up. Would you like to speak? Yes. Go ahead, please. Pick your number. Number eight, please. Number eight. There we go. Huh. If the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never the goal. If the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never the goal. Over to you, Angela. Thank you for that inspiring sentence. I don't know who said that, but I know who said something else which is very relevant. And that was uh, one of the Israeli ministers. He said, when you consult an expert, if he says a thing cannot be done, get another expert. And that is very much the case when you're planning something. If you call in a, a plumber, and he says, oh, I can't fix that. You'll have to buy a new washing machine or something. Uh, you go online and you check to see what's wrong with the washing machine and if you can actually fix it. But sometimes you can fix it yourself. And this has happened so many times to me. And it's happened to my next door neighbours in London. Uh, they had a, a fridge and they were told it couldn't be fixed. So they went online to find out how to fix it. And it's still going 30 years later. And uh, we are so lucky. We, ha we have the internet now. We can find out how to do anything. There are forums which are designed especially for people like plumbers and electricians. And if you're, you register with it and you are a member of them, they can go and they can type in, uh, I'm at a house looking at a, a, a washing machine and the motor isn't running or it's, it's the light is coming on, what should I do? And six other plumbers or electricians will come in and tell them. And I was shown this by a friend of mine um, who was talking to me socially, who um, he was visiting me and I happened to have something wrong, like with my washing machine. And he went online and showed me this. And I thought, ah, that's it. If you, um, I've forgotten what the question was now. I think I've gone off at a tangent. Can you show me the question again? Sure. What number did you pick just now? Number eight, is that right? Eight. There we go. I want to be on topic. Yes. If the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but not the goal. So if you have a washing machine that needs mending, and you, most things we try that don't work, you can go through a series of steps process of elimination and it was the first one is turn it on and off at the wall um, and then check the plug and then check check the power supply and whether it's a computer or anything else that's what you do and if this works for an object in your house whether it's a washing machine or a computer it really works for most other things as well uh, Change the, the plan to fix, but don't change your goal. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. Let me head back. Thank you, Angela. Yes, that was spectacular. That whole idea is to stay focused on your goal. And if the first plan doesn't work, go for the second. The second doesn't work, go for the third until you achieve your goal. So the key thing is to stay focused. Thank you. We have a couple more topics for all our guests to have a go at the table topic segment. Do we have another volunteer that would like to speak with the audience? We'd love to hear from you. Come on, guys, it's Friday night. Would a couple of drinks help? <laughs> that, that usually loosens the tongue a little bit. I can take another. Oh, Edward, yes, sure, why not? Go ahead. I can see Edward's having fun. <laughs> Go ahead, Edward. 
I'll take number 15. Number 15. Ah, something uh, a little bit longer. Let me read it out. There are three C's of life. Choices, chances, changes. You must make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. Mr. President, Toastmaster of the evening, Table Topic Master, Toastmasters and fellow guests. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Truer words have never been spoken. You must take a chance to change. You must make a choice to take a chance to change your life. Truer words have never been spoken. I started my career as an accountant. My first degree was an accounting degree, and I enjoyed my accounting career. But it became monotonous became routine, journal entries, balance sheet, trial balance, income statements, reports to the board, it became a routine. I lost interest and I switched to IT and my life took off. After joining the IT department in my company, within Nine months, I was promoted twice. Within the next year, I was promoted three times. My life took off. I took a chance. I left my comfort zone, being an accountant, and I became a computer programmer. From computer programming, I went into database development, then data warehousing. Then I was assigned to special projects. My life kept taking off. An opportunity came at a new company, just starting up. Everyone thought the company would have failed. I took a chance and I went over to the new company. And I became the head of IT operations. I made the choice to take a chance and my life once again changed. That was fun. That was new. That was refreshing. After six and a half years, I made another choice to take another chance. And I went out on my own and started an IT support company. My life changed again. If you want to make change in your life, you must make the choice to take a chance. Madam Toast, top topic master. Thank you, Edward. That was so inspiring. Make a choice to change and your life will, will never be the same again. And you have proven time and time again with your life. Excellent. That's so inspiring. Yes, guys, there's no need to fear changes. Change whether you do anything or nothing. Our friend says change will happen. When you breathe, you still put on weight. That's not counting what you just ate for dinner. Thank you. Do we have, I'm going to have a couple more topics. Do we have another speaker? They would like to take on the challenge. Edward had had a go at it twice and he's enjoyed himself. Hi, Ina. Would you like to have another go at it? Oh. Yeah, why not? Thank you. <laughs> You're such a sporty lady. This time I will try to talk a little bit longer, I think. Yes, uh, please. Should I, should I, should I talk uh, two, about two minutes? Two minutes right? and 30 seconds, yes. Uh-huh, but there is some interval, right? Uh, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry, what do you mean? Uh, uh, I mean that uh, there is a minimum minimum time and maximum time. Yes, so. minimum time is one minute, 30 seconds. Uh -huh. And the maximum time is two minute, 30 seconds. Yeah, thanks. Mm. Uh, so, um, hmm. let it be number 18. Number 18. Oh, yes, that's your age, right? But that's a secret. Yeah, it was my first try. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. This is a this is a something that uh, many people will be familiar with. It's a serenity prayer. It says, "God, give me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference." Mm -hmm. Over to you, Anna. Yeah, yeah, I'm just thinking. Uh, okay, uh, just let me know when Take I Take your time. Start Take your time. You can start mm -hmm. anytime when you're ready. The uh, timer will thank only you. start uh, when, you first, when you say the first word. 
thank you, Margaret. Uh, thank you, Margaret, uh, for uh, make it, for giving me this opportunity to speak for the second time. So, um, speaking about this uh, saying um, uh, about granting the serenity, the courage, and the wisdom, I think that these three words should uh, be used not only in, in this context, but uh, uh, well. Serenity, serenity, courage, and wisdom are three uh, qualities that um, every one of us needs. And um, um, speaking about uh, accepting the things that we cannot change, I think it's important. And in this regard, that uh, maybe we can live without this, but um, I think that. Uh... Sorry, Ida, you're muted. Ina, you're muted. Oh, okay. I'm just, sorry. I, just, just a was, second ago. Just a couple of seconds ago. Just carry on, please. Okay. So, um, uh, if we are, uh, if we can accept things that as they are, uh, we uh, surely make our lives much easier. Uh, though we, of course, can live without this uh, quality. Ina, you're muted again. Someone mutes me, I think, because it's not me. I uh, so uh, I cannot see the text, uh, but as far as I remember, can you please show the text so uh, that I go on with my speech? Um, okay, we so should uh, 18, 18, 18, please. Yes. So uh, as uh, as long as you uh, open, yes, uh, the second uh, part was like the courage to change the things that we can. It's very important not to, well, in order to be happy, we should change something and adapt to this change. Uh, as uh, one of previous speakers already said that um, it's some of uh, indicators of success because when we uh, change ourselves, uh, we can be, um, mm, uh, can be more successful in our lives. And third, but not the last, of course, but uh, it's the wisdom to know the difference. Uh, and this is where all the secret lies, uh, because we uh, sometimes should be able uh, to know what is uh, the difference, uh, not to be in a foolish situation. Uh, I would like to go on, but unfortunately, I'm not good with time. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, uh, please accept my apologies if I was muted sometime. Thank you, Thank you, Ina. Thank you. That was a very brave attempt. Thank you so much for taking it on a second time. Yes, I totally agree with you. It's important to be able to make a decision to make changes in our lives, as Edward has shared with us. However, there are some changes that are not within our control, and that's probably changes that's outside of us, the environment the uh, job situation, other people's behavior. And the key thing is to know the difference. And that comes with wisdom. Thank you, Ina. I appreciate your time. time. Okay, we will have one last speaker. Let me move this back to the selection. Hey. Okay, we'll return back to the topic session. And we will have one more speaker, please. Who would like that? Who would that be? Oh, Angela, I see you waving frantically. Would that be you? Yes, sure. Yes. All right. Show me you the will be you'll be the final speaker for the table topic this evening. Show me the shoes. What is the quote? The shoes, the Cinderella shoes. That one has been taken. Would oh. you like to try something else? Oh, all right, yes. Good. The topics that are still available is 1, 2, six. 4, 6, 11, 14, 16, and 17. 6, please. 6. Okay, there we go. Bringing people together to plan and execute change is crucial. Bringing people together to plan and execute change is crucial crucial. Over to you, Angela. Shall I leave this on for you? Yes, please do. Yeah. 
bringing people together to plan and execute change is crucial or critical in Toastmasters because it's very often a requirement that you need the agreement of everybody else. For example, in my club, in one of my clubs, I'm a member of five different clubs, we wanted to go on to meet up but we had to get the agreement of everybody to spend the money because the club wasn't terribly full of money, but we wanted more members. So we chose to go ahead, but the treasurer is not happy to give out money unless he's got everybody's agreement. So you send out an email on WhatsApp, do you agree to this and nobody answers? And then he still went, agree to pay the money because nobody has given him the go-ahead. Now it's very interesting because Anand, and some of you will know Anand, who is um, on the higher levels of Toastmasters, he said to me, what you do is you ask everybody for their opinion and then you go ahead with your decision even if they don't agree with what you originally thought was the right decision. And if anyone objects, you say to them, well, I've consulted everybody and taking into account all your views, that is what I have decided. And that's it. So you have to get people to think they've contributed to the decision. And then at some point, you might have a veto or a casting vote, which is what happens in judging a competition, you have somebody with a casting vote. But you still have to have justice done and justice seemed to be done because everybody has to voice their opinion otherwise how do you know whether your club is doing what the people want so i agree with exactly with what they say bringing people together to plan and execute change is critical and as you said margaret crucial thank you thank you angela thank you yes indeed it, because People are resistant to change, but if you can get people to buy into those changes and why they need to make those changes, it will definitely go a long way in accepting and hence executing those changes. So we definitely need to get everybody on board the changes. Thank you, Angela. With that, I end my table topic segment. Thank you everyone for your participation. I'll hand the time back to Toastmaster of the evening. Ah, before we do that, we have uh, put up the polls for all the speakers this evening. Do they all qualify for voting? Chan Chan? Um, okay, according to my time, Abdu is 2 minutes 34. Angela for the first round is 2 minutes 40. So these are the ones out, but her time for the second round is 2 minutes 01. Okay, so the eligible for voting are all put on the poll already, is that right? Yeah, basically okay. the time the time for that are all on the chat. Thank you so much. So ladies and gentlemen, please cast your poll. It's polling day in Singapore, incidentally, so it's something we'll all enjoy doing. We will keep the polls open for another minute. And I'll hand, can we, can we keep this open? And in the meantime, I'll hand the time back to the Toastmaster of the day. Over to you, CJ. Hi, uh, thank you. Shall we have a 10 minutes break? Uh, let's have a 10 minutes break and come back after this. Thank you, everybody. So I think it's good. We are now moving into our prepared speech segment. For tonight's prepared speeches, we have three speakers who have put in good effort for their presentation. Let's give them our support. Our first speaker, will be doing her Pathway Presentation Mastery Level 3, Inspire Your Audience. The evaluator for this project is Distinguished Toastmaster Alicia. 
May I ask the evaluator to read out for us the purpose statement of this project? Can I um, share screen to show my slides? The purpose of this project is for the member to practice writing and delivering a speech that inspires others. The purpose of the speech is for the member to inspire the audience. Best of luck, Toastmaster Angela, and back to you, TMD CJ. The speaker is allowed five to seven minutes for her speech. At the end of five minutes, the green card will be shown. At six minutes, the amber card will be shown. And at seven minutes, the red card will be shown. And the speaker has 30 seconds to wrap up before the bell ring. The title of the speech is, Don't Throw It, Grow It. Angela learned from her mother who lived through World War II to rescue abandoned plants and reuse fabrics to make new clothes. She'll describe what she has done and tell you how you can follow her example. Let us welcome our speaker, Advanced Communicator Go, Advanced Leader Bronze, Angela. Over to you, Angela. Good evening, everybody. As you've just heard, in World War II, everybody was asked to dig for victory. Can you see my slide? I'm just going to try and show it to you. Can you see my slides? Excellent. So the two things I want you to do are to grow your own food and to create and renovate your own clothes. The one thing that I heard Einstein say was I'm thankful for, to those who said no, because of them I did it all myself. Now, I didn't know how to grow plants on my balcony and I went to visit a friend and she had a plant growing and it had lots of little ones around it and I said what's that? She said it's aloe vera. I said oh I've always wanted to see that. I never knew what it was. I said I'd love to grow one. How do you do it? And she said we'll have one of these and she gave me a little tiny one. How many of you have grown aloe vera? Put your hands up if you have. If you haven't, it is so easy. I can give you a tiny one when COVID is over and you can come round and collect it. It is just amazing. We went back to England and we left our aloe vera and we were scared. We thought it would die. We came back and it had grown into a monster. It had grown four times the size and there were four little ones all around it. Aloe vera is easy. What else can you grow? I did a rescue on a tiny, a little orange tree. At least it looks like an orange tree. It's actually a lime tree. You see them at all the festivals, Chinese New Year, everywhere in Singapore, outside a new business. They have these little trees with the what looks like little oranges all over them. The gardening centre told me they are limes. One of my neighbours threw one out, it was wilting and all the lovely little red bows had fallen off. I didn't need the red bows, all I wanted was the little orange tree or as I found out later it was a lime tree and I grew it. And we took the little oranges off and they tasted bitter. But that's what you need for making marmalade. Marmalade is made from bitter Seville oranges. If you don't have enough, 
you can take a real orange from the supermarket and add it as we did the first time round. And we ended up with a jar of marmalade. And we get such a thrill every morning when we have our own homemade bread and our own homemade marmalade. What else can I tell you what to do? Make your own clothes. A lot of people don't do that because they think it's too difficult. I started making kaftans because I couldn't get into the small size clothes so here in Singapore. And a kaftan is the easiest dress you can make. It's basically an oblong with seams up the sides, usually not at the edge but a little way in, and the neck. Now you don't even, I discovered much later, have to make a neck. All you have to do is seam across the top and leave a gap where the neck is. Now, I will show you how I have made a kaftan which I can wear and if you go onto Facebook you'll see a picture of me wearing it. It started off as a scarf with a fringe on it and I thought that's too big, it fits me, I can wear that as a kaftan. So what do you do? You cut a hole down one side for the arm and then you seam it across the top of the shoulders, leave a space for the neck and if it's fringed all you have to do is tie all the fringes together. If it's not like that you have to sew up the sides. I did another saving rescue attempt on a towel that had a hole in it. I cut a hole in the middle of the towel and what did I have? I could put it over my head and I had a beach wrap to take down to the swimming pool to dry on and also to cover up on the lip. And then finally I looked in my cupboard and I found I had this lovely item Unfortunately, it's not shown, but you'll see it if you go into my Facebook page. I had a crop top and a pair of shorts. I don't wear shorts. So what did I do? I cut across the crotch and I cut out the elastic at the waist level and I sewed what was now a very short skirt onto the bottom of my tunic. I'm now wearing it and I have, if I stand back further, I'm wearing a dress. Go onto Facebook and you'll see me wearing it. And I have two of these, a blue one and a green one. Now you can do the same. You can rescue what I have rescued. You can take an unused large scarf and turn it into a dress. You can take a towel with a hole or a stain, cut that out and make it into a beach wrap and you can take a pair of shorts if you're a girl and make them into a dress, the lower half of a dress. And if you've got the two halves, you've got a complete outfit. And anybody can grow aloe vera and a little orange tree. Have a good time, dig for victory as they said in World War II, make do and mend and your life will save money and you'll have such fun doing it. Please do this. It's good for Singapore, it's good for you, it's good for your family, and it's very good for morale. And tell me about it, because it would be good for me to know that I have helped you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Angela, for your wonderful speech. Our second speaker will be doing his pathway, engaging humour level one, Mastering Fundamentals, Evaluation and Feedback First Speech. The evaluator for this project is Mina. May I ask the evaluator to read out the purpose statement of this project? Yeah, hi CP. So for the objective of this speech, the purpose of this project is for the member to present a speech on any topic, receive feedback and apply the feedback to a second speech. The purpose of this speech is for the member to present a speech and receive feedback from the evaluator. Yes. 
and his topic for today is don't work on the snowflake don't work on the snowflake 5 to 7 minutes thank you i will need to use uh share my screen okay The timing sequence is the same, five to seven minutes. Patrick has completed his effective coaching and leadership development path. He has now started his engaging humor path. Let us welcome our speaker, distinguished Toastmaster Patrick. Over to you, Patrick. Thank you very much, Mr. Toastmaster. Just wait a second, I need to share my screen. Um, I need to share my screen. Host has disabled participants sh screen sharing. Okay, just wait a second here. Where is it? Oh my. Just wait. I'm having a little trouble here. Just wait a second. I need to share. I'm sorry. Okay. Just wait a second. Okay, I'm gonna have to skip that. There we go. And share. Crunch, 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 crunch. Have you ever experienced walking in the forest in the wintertime? I think probably being in Asia, many of you or the majority of you have not. But myself, coming from Newfoundland, Canada, where we get, it's not uncommon to receive 50 or more centimeters of snow in one day, it is quite common for us to get that much snow. But after the snow has settled and has hardened, have you ever experienced walking on that hard snow? Just close your eyes and just picture you're walking in a forest. And you can hear the snow crunching under your feet. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Then you open your eyes and you look on the path and you see this one snowflake in front of you. It looks so beautiful. It looks so pretty. You almost try to walk away from this particular snowflake so that you don't step on it. That's one kind of snowflake. Don't walk on this snowflake. But then, here's another snowflake. And this is the kind of snowflake that, well, it makes us kind of, some of us, kind of cringe. And we prefer not to meet or to listen, certainly on TV, to listen to this kind of snowflake or to read about this kind of snowflake in, in the news, in the newspaper. Fellow Toastmasters, the world we live in today is nothing like the world 20 years ago. The days of being able to agree, to disagree with each other and still be friends at the end of the day, those days are long gone. Did you ever, do, do you have a friend that you have very different viewpoints on different things in society? It could be, it could be economics, it could be issues of of uh, social welfare, 
it could be politics. Now, people say that you shouldn't talk about politics or, or certain issues, and I'm not gonna really talk about politics directly tonight, but people say in, with friends, we shouldn't discuss such issues. Well, actually, that's not quite true. People who feel uncomfortable with such issues are the ones who say that we should not talk about politics, we should not talk about religion. If you respect your friend, if you respect the other person who's listening to you, and the style of your speech is professional, and your intention is not to use insults, but to use logic, logical thinking, then what is the problem? Where have we gone wrong in the past 20 years? What I can say is welcome to the snowflake generation. Now, one of the things I want to focus on in this uh, speech tonight is the issue of confusion that is reigning in our society. And one of, the, one of the things that people are confused with, especially, is men. And the men being able to connect with their inner sensitivities or their inner emotions. And that is true. It is okay for men to talk about what stresses them. It is okay for men to express their emotional state. But somewhere along the line, people have become confused. And of course, this, some people may say, oh, this is art. This style of clothing is art and art is in the eye of the beholder. But look at this. How would you feel if your, if your friend or your coworker walked into work dressed like this? Maybe in the future, this is where we are headed. When men are made to feel guilt because of male privilege, the quote unquote topic of male privilege, then the confusion reigns in society. And this is what, this is one of the results of, of this confusion. And again, about male privilege. Of course, yes, there is a gap between salaries between men and women and just address this social inequality, address the inequality. Work to level the playing field. And of course, men should be involved in this process with women to try to correct the wrongs. And, but to laden this burden of guilt for generation to generation and expect men to feel, to carry around this middle stone of guilt, I believe is, is wrong. It's not right. And it causes confusion. I believe men should be um, proud to say that there are men. And women should be proud to say that they are women. Now, if a man shows his emotions and it's not a typically male, then that's okay too. Likewise with women. If women tend to be more um, focused and go-getter, does it make it wrong for a woman to, to be focused and to be goal-driven? No, absolutely not. Now, this is, these are two uh, gentlemen that I kind of, I like their 
comedy, and I like their um, their singing too. But I'm not going to sing for you tonight. But I will, I will give you a piece of a very popular song that is called "Safe Spaces" from Chad. This is from Chad. I've got friends in safe spaces, and you don't go with us, then you must be racist. That is our catchphrase. Where is my latte? Come on in, let's get cozy. Showing off participation trophies. Watching CNN in safe spaces. We all get along and sing happy songs and watch movies by Michael Moore. We hate the alt-right. We've got puppies on sight and lay around on the floor. Oh, there's coloring books and long said faced looks and tears just explode from our face. But give us an hour. We're delicate flowers. We just need an embrace. So this, I encourage you to go and listen to this song. My final uh, message, not my final message, but this is a message for people who may be too sensitive for their own good. Number one, you don't get participation trophies. You get what you put into it. Not everybody is a winner. There are no safe spaces. You make your own safe space. You learn how to deal with what bothers you. Screaming doesn't make you right. No one owes you anything. Nothing is free in this world. People will say things you don't like. You're not special. You are who you are and you deserve what you put into um, life. So, okay especially young people, the millennials, people born in the 90s, people in their high teens and people in their 20s. Listen here, boomers created biotechnology and internet commerce, both changed the world, cured deadly diseases, created hundreds of thousands of jobs and added billions to the economy. You gave us safe spaces and motorized scooters. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you, Patrick, for your fantastic speech. Our third speaker for tonight will be doing her pathway innovative planning laboratory, increasing knowledge, present a proposal. The evaluator for this project is distinguished Toastmaster Boizanova. May I ask the evaluator to read out for us the purpose statement of this project? Thank you, CJ. The purpose of this project is for the member to practice developing and presenting an, a proposal. Back to you, CJ. Thank you. The timing is the same, five to seven minutes. The title of the speech is, Life is a Circle. Friends call her Hot Mama. She likes reading to gain knowledge, singing to improve her vocal variety, and dancing to keep fit. She's a member of Lenky Advanced Toastmaster Club and secretary of our club. Let us welcome our speaker, Innovative Planning Level 2, Jennifer Lim. Over to you, Jenny. Thank you, thank you, Toastmaster of the evening. Life is a circle. In life, there are lots of things to learn through happiness, Sadness, good times, hard times, opportunity, and failure. These elements of life appear 
disappear and reappear. If you agree with me, raise your hands. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, distinguished Toastmasters, Club President, fellow Toastmasters, guests from overseas and Singapore. COVID-19 has changed a major part on the outlook of our life, the way we live, work, and socialize. Change is constant. The way businesses are run are different too. A lot of businessmen are striking while the iron is hot by grabbing the opportunity to run their businesses online. So why don't we steer the boat through the storm as well? Together with my co-owner, Alicia Chia, we are proposing to you podcast, podcast business, which is related to life circle of learning, unlearning, and relearning. The company is set up to serve the local, regional, and international communities of public speakers, content providers, and listeners. The business is to provide a platform for public speakers and networkers to market their products through podcasting. Our target audience are public speakers for a start from Singapore, regional, and maybe international later on. Our business model is mainly based on subscription-based. Our marketing strategy will be through word of mouth, social media, interest groups. Competition, we will limit it because we will price ourselves very competitively and we are targeting a different audience group. We are planning, our financial plan is to target the first 100 subscribers as a baseline. An implementation plan will be based on a three-year plan. The company will provide a podcast service to cater to public speakers for a start. We will be providing coaching, copywriting, content, copywriting skills to assist content providers with voiceover if needed and to give anyone an opportunity to do their own road show. Sorry. The podcast hosting is one of our products. We will be doing coaching on how to do podcasting, uh, the equipment to use, the device, and also on public speaking. We will also assist in teaching copywriting skills, as well as provide voiceover, meaning if a content provider give us the content and they, they could not do the voice, uh, the talking, so they can use our voice to do the podcasting for them. So marketing plan is by word of mouth and through social media marketing, as well as interest groups. Interest groups are like public speaking platform and social media will be Facebook and so on. Our organization structure will be based on IT infrastructure, as well as we will have coaches, copywriters, and content voice overs. This is an estimated X number of subscribers that we will have for the next five years. And as you can see, for the first year, we are targeting probably about 47 subscribers and subscriptions probably around 26,400. And our running cost is constant, about 18,000 a year. And income 
is based on subscription plus whatever income that we derive from people who advertise, people who use our podcasting sites uh, to do their podcasting speeches. And uh, yeah, and, and we have the, based on the income, and we also have the cash flow. We take 50% of the income, we put back into the, the, the box, the company's finance, uh, funds, so that we can roll over. And our investors profit sharing. This is basically based on 55, 45% shares. But of course, we encourage more investors to come in to be our partner. And then we can work out on the percentage again. And as you can see, our second year, our second year and our third year, as you go along, we are actually targeting more and more uh, subscribers. And we hope that all of you will look into this and join us as partners in this business, which is, you don't really need uh, office space and that is fantastic. Life is a circle, a journey of experiences, happiness, good times, hard times. And here in this life, you have an opportunity to invest in this podcast business. So grab the opportunities, the element, while the element is still hot, don't hesitate, if not now, when? So these are the summary that I gave earlier. So back to you, Toastmaster of the evening. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer, for your wonderful proposal. I fully like your speech, life is a circle. What goes around comes around. Let's have a 10 minutes break now. Lots of things are going to happen in the next few hours, as you and I well know. Uh, so we, it really remains to be seen how this particular... Let's vote for the best speaker. May I confirm, later Mina is going first, is it? Hi, welcome back. Let me now pass it over to our general evaluator, Thomas, competent communicator, competent leader from Passerius Toastmaster Crowd. Over Thank to you, you, Thomas. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. We have now come to the evaluation segment of our meeting. This is an extremely important part of our meeting for us to learn and grow. The purpose of the evaluation is to give both positive comments as well as supportive suggestions for enhancement. Hopefully, each speaker will feel encouraged and motivated 
by the aspects of their speech that went well and be really, really motivated to make their speech even better for the next time. So our first evaluator will be evaluating Angela Charlotte. Or most of us will know her as Angela Lansbury. And today, for the first evaluator, we are privileged to have our very own member, Alicia Chia. Give a warm round of applause. Sorry, just give me a minute. Take your time. Maybe meanwhile, the timer will love to share the sequence. Right. Yeah, but anyway, it's two to three minutes. Lah. We are all familiar with this. All the best, Alicia. Thank you. A very good evening to club president, to fellow guests, and especially to Toastmaster Angela Lansbury. Tonight, I'll be evaluating Angela in two areas. The first is how she managed, did she manage to inspire the audience? And the other part would be the part where the speech was a bit lag last year. Okay, now the first area and how, whether she inspired the audience, I'll evaluate her in three different aspects. First, did Angela manage to get the direct impression that she is one of, the, one of them? Secondly, did she show without any doubt she's a credible speaker? And third, did she bridge that gap with the audience? Now for the first question, yes, she managed to get a direct impression that she's one of the audience. And how did she do it? She showed everyone there are common problems that she faced. She couldn't fit into a dress. She had a towel that a hole. All these issues are very common and can happen with anybody. So indeed, she has managed to show that she's one of us, the audience in the background. Number two, was she credible? Yes, indeed, she was credible. She demonstrated to us how she, she used a scarf and converted it into a skeleton, or rather a top to be worn. And after demonstrating how she did it, she asked the audience to go check all the things she made on her Facebook. So that shows that she has credibility. She dares to show what she has done. And finally, she, did she manage to bridge the gap with the audience? Yes, she did. She told everyone, you can do the same. Meaning to say that, it's not only Angela can do it, but the rest, anybody, ordinary people can do it. She gave us, gave the audience a lot of encouragement. Now, the other part where the speech was, speech was a bit lag last year was that the speaker only finished in seven minutes, three seconds. That means to say that she underutilized the time. She had another maybe 27 seconds more so she could better utilize her time by expanding the benefits of don't throw it, grow it, make, make do and mend. She rushed through the benefits as a conclusion that you can have fun. It's good for you, it's good for Singapore. But what good is it? Maybe you should say expand it more. That will be better and will be, it will inspire the audience further. Now, the other thing that she could do is tell us about what are her future projects. So at the conclusion, is she, she has indeed inspired the audience. And if she could have better utilized the time, it would be an excellent speech. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Wow, thank you, Alicia. That was really specific and very detailed. And that's the amazing thing about having a specific and detailed evaluation because the speaker knows exactly where to enhance. So really thank you for that, Alicia. All right, our second evaluator will be evaluating Patrick's Gilford's speech. And here's her introduction. She is the current G3 area director and she believes in doing her best and the rest is assured. 
Let's put our hands together to welcome Mina, Advanced Community Goal, Advanced Leader Bronze, Dynamic Leadership Level 5, Mina. Thank you, Thomas. Um, so, well done, Patrick. First of all, congratulations on completing the first path and taking up the very difficult but interesting pathways engaging humor. You have met your objective for today and here I'm going to evaluate on two notes, what you excelled in and what we would want you to focus on. So you excelled in the opening of the speech. You had a very strong opening and you grabbed the attention of the audience in the very first word that you uttered, have you ever and the visual that you had a very beautiful snowflake at the background on the slide was very impressive. So yes, we were with you in the very first minute, the very first word you uttered. Well done on that. Relating your speech to a snowflake and addressing a very difficult topic was a good on your part. Not everybody will want to address this topic, but I wondered how you managed to compare it with a snowflake. That was a great thing that you have done today. You, have, you were slowly addressing the issue and driving us towards the conclusion, although I didn't notice that I was moving towards the conclusion through your speech. Now, some things that I want you to focus, or rather we all want you to focus on is you reveal the other kind of the snowflake, all of a sudden there was no clue coming forth and I was a bit taken aback because I didn't expect something like that, some sort of picture like that and I couldn't get the few sentences you said before I could digest, you were already onto the topic. Maybe you would want to give a little pause and make the people digest about the beautiful snowflake before you head on to people. Maybe that was on purpose, but I would say it didn't help me well on that. I was a little confused in between the speech, where the speech was heading towards, although you helped us and drew, drove us through the conclusion, but in the middle, maybe at the minute three or four, I was a bit confused where you were heading towards. The information on the slides were your positive as well as your negative because the informations were too much at some point to digest and move on. So you may want to concentrate on your slides the next time. You had, a, you had overdone the time. Maybe it's because you have a lot to say, but there's a little time. Yes, this happens with the very well-versed speakers every time. But I, I know that you have become a DTM and you have completed a path and maybe this is because you were having a slide in front of you and the timer was not in uh, your screen. Maybe the next time you want to pin the timer before you start your speech. Well done, well done Patrick. We would like to hear from you more and this kind of comparison is an example for all the members here. With that, back to you. Wow, thank you so much, Mina. It was filled with authenticity and sincerity, and I could really feel that you were speaking from the bottom of your heart. Really appreciate that. All right, so the third evaluator will be evaluating our hot mama, Jennifer Lee. And we, tonight, we are really, really privileged because here is the description of our evaluator. She is a Toastmaster since 2011 and she is now a member of multiple online clubs. Change for her is an opportunity to do something that she can learn from. Let's put our hands together to welcome distinguished Toastmaster Alicia Boizanvoa. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Toastmaster of the day. Dear Jennifer, Thank you for your wonderful presentation, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Today, I'm going to talk about what I heard and what I saw. Jennifer indeed delivered a well-organized presentation about her proposal of a podcast business. And she had an intelligent and pleasant style of speaking. 
we learned that this was a platform of public speaking and networkers to market their products through podcasting. She talked about targeting different audience through word of mouth, uh, social media and uh, group interest group, and shared uh, a plan of talk cast. Was her proposal beneficial for everyone? I think so, because we can relate through Toastmasters to public speaking. Your PowerPoint slides were beautiful and not heavy design and it had a good and simple amount of information that we all could digest. Jennifer's spoken language is very clear and easy to understand and she had a good um, use of gestures, especially I like when she, she was uh, showing that uh, when she was striking and um, she certainly engaged her audience by asking questions if we agreed with her so we, and she said raise your hands. Voice was powerful and um, expressed her emotions and uh, facial expression uh, was animated, friendly and genius. Uh, Jennifer, I have maybe one recommendation that you could use uh, some poses um, because uh, you're kind of um, quick and uh, constant. But overall, it was a great uh, proposal. Uh, so you, we learned from you a lot. Thank you so much. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster of the Thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Alicia. It was indeed such a gentle yet powerful evaluation. And I think Jennifer has learned so much from it from all the very relatable and applicable tips. So all the best to you, Jennifer, as well as Alicia the next time around. Really appreciate it. All right, so we have come to the end of the evaluation segment. May I invite the timer to please share with all of us the timing record for today. Well, meanwhile, while we are waiting for the timing report, it's time I guess for some entertainment, oh, check the chat. Right, so from the timing report, I see that everyone qualifies to be voted as the best evaluator for tonight and the poll has been posted. So do vote for your choice. How is the poll progressing? No? Please vote, please vote. Yeah. Every vote counts. Why are you laughing away, really? Who are, who are you chatting with? All right, so I guess while we are waiting for the poll to continue. Let me share a short joke to keep everyone entertained. 
So, why can't why scientists will never ever trust atoms? Why scientists will never ever trust atoms? If you know the answer, please key into the chat. I hope I'm not entertaining myself. <laughs> What's atom? How do you say atom? Spell? Atoms. Oh, atoms. Scientists, if you notice, they never trust atoms. You know, because they feel... Yeah, I mean, I, I won't share the answer, but... Come, come. Anyone knows? Okay, Gerald. Okay, Alicia. Nice try, nice try. And the answer is because they make everything up. Thank you, Buckley, for your support. That short laughter was very positive and supportive for me to keep continuing my attempt to share these jokes. Angela, your poker face is not helping. <laughs> anyway, are we done with the poll? Or maybe we should just like end it so that we can move on. And so that all of you will not be tortured by my cold jokes. Carry on with it. I like it, I like it. Oh, okay. Then it's your turn, Jennifer, since you like it. <laughs> no, hot mama can dance but not joke. <laughs> <laughs> Holding jokes. <laughs> Best bullet train jokes. What are, what are bullet train jokes? Uncle Banana can joke. Yeah. But he disappeared. Oh, yes. Uh, Hey, how do you know, uh, CJ? Yeah, so CJ actually gave a comment that I have the longest joke, which is true. But I also have the shortest joke. Which one do you want to hear? The shortest joke or the longest joke? Both. Both. Uh. Which one first? Which one is more funny? Uh, longest? Okay. Perhaps. Okay, so here goes. Uh. Are you ready? Let's focus. Uh, because only when you focus, then can, you can capture the humor in it. Okay, ready? Uh? Ready? Here goes. Joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always, Thomas. I need yes. to <coughs> you continue the normal G poker call and do very much. Oh, okay. So we are not waiting for the poll already, yeah. Okay. Right. So we are. Okay, the poll has ended and now moving on, we will have our R counter report. And today we are privileged to have none other than distinguished toastmaster Lee Buckley. Over to you, Buckley. Thank you, Mr. General Evaluator. My role as the R counter tonight was to count ums, ahs, ers, and any filler words such as sort of, you know, I mean, like, and so forth. Tonight, I would like to firstly congratulate Toastmaster of the Day CJ and two table topic speakers, Edward and Nakenji, for not having any filler words. Well done. With the other speakers, there were minimal filler words tonight. They range between one to five. What I would like to do is instead of giving you the exact numbers of each filler words, I would like to point out the exceptions. For table topic speaker Ina, the favorite, well, I would say favorite filler word was a. Uh. I think this is because in table topics, I would like to suggest to all table topic speakers is just relax pause, take your time in answering table topics questions. When you are in a hurry, especially when you're trying to present table topics online, you're trying to look at the camera okay? and you're trying to think at the same time. Take your time, pause, and that will help you to reduce the filler words. Ina, you had 11 ers and 21 ers in the first and second speech respectively. 
Uh, Noriko, the filler word was end. So she would say something, end, end, end. Okay, so again, pause. Saka, so okay. And followed by and then, and then. Abdul Karimi, uh, may I suggest if you would say something, just say the full word. Okay, Abdul Karimi was saying gotta, gotta, I gotta. So not gotta, I'm going to. Okay, for example, Angela, her filler phrases were, or rep repetitive phrases were and then, and then, and then. Patrick, he mentioned kind of, kind of, kind of four times. But actually, so okay, or or off off. Okay. With Jennifer, she thanked the uh, Toastmaster of the day not just once but twice. So thank you, thank you. Just say once will be fine. Thank you, Jennifer. Our general evaluator Thomas, he was so close to not having any filler words, but at the end he came in and graces with two uh, filler words in terms of really, really motivated, really, really privileged. Perhaps he could say uh, extremely motivated. Okay, uh, we are, so instead of going really, really, to use another word. And again, he nearly got away, but I think I heard two to three minutes, la. That concludes my R counter report for tonight. Back to you, Mr. General Evaluator. Wow, thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Lee Barkley. And I love how she did not only identify the number of post fillers, but also give us specific recommendations on how we can improve from there. She just has this teacher vibe in her. Do you happen to be a teacher, Barkley? See, I'm great at reading people. I totally didn't know about it before this. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I will move on to the second part of my general evaluation, which I am really glad that it's after Buckley segment, so I won't get penalized too much. And the thing about general evaluation is that it makes me a better person. Why do I say so? Because usually when I attend chapter meetings, I will be relatively late. But as a general evaluator, I have to be at least on time. So thank you. Distinguished Toastmaster Willie for giving me the opportunity to be a better person. <laughs> so the meeting definitely started on time. I think it's probably just one or two minutes late, but we will not care about that. And when I come in, it's a very warm atmosphere. You know, there are people interacting, greeting. And this is essential because you want to create a warm atmosphere so that we are in the mood and we are having the right mindset to learn and interact with one another. Okay, so we, was, we start off with the Toastmaster of the day who was very warm, very positive, and I love how he started off by sharing some rules to abide to so that we know what to expect and we can upkeep a very quality meeting. And not only that, he shared with us the program flow so that we know what to expect. And you can just see that he's just full of energy, he's smiling, he's, he speaks in a way that's resounding, really clear, and these are essentials of a Toastmaster of the day. So well done on that, CJ. And moving on, we got our table topic master who was who's very proficient at it. Not only that, she is very systematic. She started off by introducing the timing sequence so that we can follow to it closely. She had even have a theme on change so that there's a consistency right there. And her slides beautifully designed, very clear. You know, sometimes when we use slides, we are not able to see the words at all and that defeats the purpose of using it. And not only that, after each response, she also gives some positive remarks so that the speaker will continue to be motivated and continue to be encouraged to learn. So really well done on that, Margaret. Okay, and after that, we have the toilet break. Yes, toilet break. Perhaps you can consider to add a little bit of music to have some atmosphere to it. But other than that, good to have a break right there so that we can be refreshed and rejuvenated for the next segment. At the next segment, we have the speakers. I will not touch on the standard of the speeches because the evaluators have done that already. But I would love to say that everyone has, I can see that everyone has done their best. Perhaps we can have a system such that the speaker are able to see the timing sequence or uh, the timing progress clearly to avoid any cases of over timing. 
But other than that, really well done and really appreciate that all of you take time and effort to prepare your speech so that you can educate and enrich all of us here today. And after that, I think we had a break again. Okay, very good. And moving on to the evaluator, I've given some uh, mini comments earlier on these different evaluators. Today, it's girl power because all three evaluators are ladies. Amazing. Guys, next time round, have to volunteer huh? <laughs> to have a bit of, you know, dynamics right there. And yeah, sorry for my singlish going, going back a bit to my <laughs> call. Alright, so for Alicia, what I mentioned earlier, powerful and impactful evaluation. And I love how she constantly back it up with examples. She showed where and when the speaker did all of these different commendations. And that is important because not only does it show that Alicia is actually listening to the speech, it's a form of substantiation for the points being raised as well, right? I feel you could cut down on the amount of positive points because at the end of the day, evaluation is for the speaker to learn more. So perhaps what you can do is put more attention on the recommendations as well as the areas of enhancement and keep a close track of the time usage and utilization as well because uh, the last thing you want to do is to over time, especially for a contest climate. Of course, now in a chapter meeting is okay, but in a contest setting, you have given such an amazing evaluation done over time. All right. And next up, we have Mina. Like what I say, we can see that she's a very sincere and authentic speaker who speaks from the bottom of her heart. Her points are very detailed as well, and she substantiates with these examples. Just some recommendations because I noticed that you are constantly looking at the script. Uh, nothing wrong with that. In fact, I am also looking at the script, but it doesn't seem that I'm doing so. Why is it so? Because my script is right here it's not covering the computer so <laughs> because earlier on when you were doing your evaluation your script is here so when you look at your script it is quite obvious so what you want to do is to put your paper just right beside the camera so that you can still use your script as a reference but people would think that they are maintaining eye contact with you tip right there see i exposed to you so much secrets hi now, now everyone knows that I may not be maintaining eye contact. Not true, huh? now I'm really maintaining eye contact. Huh? <laughs> Alright, and something for you to consider, Mina. You have a beautiful smile. Use it. Use your smile. Use, put a bit of a smile so that you can exude more positivity when you give the evaluation as well. But overall, really job well done. And next up, we have Distinguished Toastmaster Alicia. Like what I mentioned, gentle yet powerful and we can see why she's a distinguished toastmaster because her evaluation is well structured she gives both sides of the story the areas of excellence as well as the areas of enhancement something we could really learn from and a consideration you could have alicia is to wrap it up with a summary because summary helps to refresh and rejuvenate the points you have shared so that all of us are able to have a clearer picture of what you have been sharing about. But overall, I had a lot of fun. Job well done, everyone. It was such an enriching experience today and very amazing. Looking forward to future chapter meetings. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Oh, Jiang Hua, do you have a Hey, wonderful general evaluation to Thomas. Now we shall present the ribbon by Willie Lo, our club president. This one, uh, we can see on the screen as well for a Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. Are you excited? If you are excited, wait for the result. Not poly result. Hey, <laughs> what? Hey, Willie, your humor improved. Very good. <laughs> okay. The best table topic speaker go to Wikara. The best prepared speaker go to Jennifer, Toastmaster Jennifer Lim, the hot mama of podcast. The best evaluator count all the way for online, present, online presenter. Thomas, what's the <laughs> Alice. Toastmaster Alice for 
online presenter. This is her second time of Singapore online and she's voted the second time as the best creator. Give us a wave. Che. Johnny Singapore on, coming online to, to Johnny online meeting is a is all is a very great change that all those master will have to will have to embrace. So are you? Eight months to get used to it. Singapore online member will take four weeks to get used to it. Why? Because we we are because our video are recorded online. We have to sit speak reasonable. Change that there's a saying in the couple word change is constant. Change if we go and waste train, we always will be stuck behind. If we embrace train, we are moving as fast as some motivational speaker or some business owner for their business. The podcast service that is under Singapore, I mean part of is a service provided for Singapore online member to help members improve to step to another level of their public speaking opportunity. If they do not take out this opportunity, they will be left behind. So I would like all Singapore online members to take, to take advantage of what we have offered you as a lovely opportunity, a lovely platform to improve your speaking opportunity or using your voice. You have the voice. All you need is a platform to speak. You must embrace every change to take out a new challenge. If we are here to help you to embrace challenges, if with the various opportunity that is offered by Toastmaster International. You're not here just to improve your public speaking. You're here to improve your building relationship as well as improve your thinking skill. That's where Toastmaster Education Program works at, in your chapter meeting. Your, why chapter meeting? Why not a professional training? Because Toastmaster is a self-paced program where you learn, where you do a speech. You make a mistake, you are given a feedback, and you learn for it. That's where you need to learn to train. It's not about classroom training, and after that, you forget about it. So remember, fellow Toastmaster and guests, remember to remember to Embrace change. Be a change. There's no improvement in your life. Thank you. And have a nice weekend. We'll see you same time, same day, next Friday. Thank you.